Emily, my dear sister. It feels like ages since we last saw each other. How have you been holding up? Amelia, I thought I made myself clear. I don't want to hear from you. Ellie, that's harsh. I'm your little sister, remember? Exactly. You're my sister. And yet, you betrayed me. You knew how much Julian meant to me. Oh, Ellie, it's been so long. I thought you'd have moved on by now. I've apologized countless times. Isn't it time to let go of the past? Your apologies mean nothing if they're not sincere, Amelia. You took away the man I loved. Uh, Ellie, we're family. We should be there for each other. You're blowing this out of proportion. What did you just say? I'm saying that love is unpredictable, Ellie. It just so happened that Julian and I fell for each other. You really don't get it, do you? Oh, Ellie, let's not fight. I called because I have some news that might interest you. I doubt it. Well, brace yourself. Julian and I have set a date for our wedding. You're getting married? Yes. We're so in love, Ellie. We're even planning our dream house. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Ellie, why are you so cold? It's starting to get on my nerves. Then stop calling me. You need to let go of your anger, Ellie. It's not healthy. And honestly, you and Julian weren't right for each other. What do you mean? Julian's successful and ambitious. Well, he's the manager of a department at a huge sales company. He keeps on getting promotions, and it's been rumored that he might even become the CEO one day. And you... well, you're just not on his level. And you think you are? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. I graduated from UCLA and living a great life that most people would be totally jealous of. You really should check out my Instagram. I wear nice clothes every day and have so many friends that I go out with. There are always guys that try to flirt with me. I think we match each other perfectly. Uh-huh. Are we done yet? I don't think we're going to see eye to eye on anything. I really have nothing else that I want to say to you. Would you please keep our promise this time and not contact me again? No, stop trying to act so tough like that. I know that deep down you're happy that I'm talking to you. I'll invite you to the wedding, so make sure that you come, okay? You have to see me in my wedding dress. I'm gonna look so beautiful. <laughs> make sure you don't cry when you see me. I really don't care about your wedding, and I definitely am not going to attend. Go have your wedding as you please, but don't get me involved. Don't bother sending me an invite, by the way. I officially decline your invitation. Save the trees. If you do, I'll burn it without even opening it. Hello? Um, I hope I'm not intruding. My name's Daniela, a friend of Amelia's. I believe you're her sister, Ellie. Yes, that's correct. How did you get my number? Is there something that you need to discuss? I apologize for the sudden contact. A mutual friend gave me your number. There's something I've been meaning to ask. What is it? I heard a rumor that Amelia's getting married. Given her history, I don't feel comfortable asking her directly. I'm not sure what happened between you two, but yes, Amelia is indeed getting married soon. Really? So it's true then? You're certain about this? Yes, I'm certain. She has already set a date for the wedding and seems quite excited about it. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. You've made my day. I'm a bit confused. You don't seem to be happy for her. Is there something else going on? Well, it's a long story. Amelia once stole my boyfriend. What? Really? Yes. He was studying to become a doctor. Amelia found out and decided she wanted him for herself. That's... unbelievable. She lied to him about me seeing other guys, which led to our breakup. They started dating soon after. But when he failed one of his exams, she dumped him. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. We reconnected by chance and managed to sort things out. He's now a doctor at a local hospital. But when I heard Amelia found out about his success, I was afraid she'd try to steal him again. I see why you wanted to confirm her wedding then. Yes, I was terrified of losing him again. When I heard the rumors about her wedding, I had to know if they were true. I understand now. It seems my sister has also caused quite a bit of trouble for you. Wait, did you say also? Uh, has she done this before? Yes. The man she's marrying is actually my ex-fiancé. Oh, I can't believe it. She did the same thing to you? Yes. But now that she's getting married, hopefully she'll stop causing trouble for others. 
Don't worry about her anymore. And focus on your happiness with your boyfriend. Yeah. I hope that she leaves us alone now. Thank you so much for the kind words. We are actually gonna get married by the end of this month. I'm so glad that I don't have to worry about her anymore as it was making me really anxious. Oh, you guys are getting married? That's great to hear. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being so kind. I'm glad we talked. I'd better get going. Take care and thank you for everything. All right, take care. All the best. Hey sis, I have some good news I want to tell you. Do you have some time right now? What do you want from me this time? I thought that I told you to never contact me again. Uh, don't be like that. You're my sister, of course I'm going to contact you from time to time. It's some really good news about Julian, actually. You want to know what it is, right? What is it? I decided that I'm going to be kind and give him back to you. So you can get back together with him and get married to him this time if you still want to. What did you just say? What made you change your mind all of a sudden? Well, a bunch of things happened and now I have to get back together with my ex-boyfriend. Wait, what? Why do you have to get back together with your ex? <laughs> well, I heard that he became a doctor, so that's why I have to get back together with him. I've always wanted to get married to someone that makes a lot of money and a doctor is very high up on the list. Anyway, I don't need Julie anymore, so you can have him back. You must be so happy that this is happening. No, I'm not happy at all, and I can't believe that you're doing this. How selfish can you be? Besides, I don't want him back at all. Do you really think that I would still have feelings for him? <laughs> you don't need to lie about that. I know that you still like him. Deep down, you must be so glad that you get another shot with Julian. This is probably going to be your last opportunity to get back together with him. Better not waste it. What are you talking about? I have no intentions of getting back together with him. What happened anyway? I thought that you two were destined for each other. You told me that I was no match for someone like him. If you match up to him so much better than I do, then why don't you just get married to him? Oh, that was just all a joke. Didn't really mean it. I actually think that you two make such a great couple. I'm sure that you guys would become a really nice family too. Anyway, I'm gonna leave him so you're probably the only person that would want to marry him. What did you just say? I'm saying I'll allow you to marry him. Actually, I'd rather you stop playing games and get back together with him. Really? Please take him back so I don't have to deal with him anymore. I need to hurry up and go flirt with my ex so that I can win him back. He was the person that was destined to be with me. Stop saying such stupid things. Your ex already has someone who's going to get married to. He's getting married to Daniela. I think that their wedding is happening today, actually. <laughs> Wait, are you sure about this? They're getting married right now. Yeah, they are. Unfortunately for you, it's way too late to try to win him back. He's already going to be married by the time you get to next see him. Hold on a minute. There's no way that's true, right? Why would those two be getting married? Besides, why do you even know about her, sis? I never introduced her to you before. I actually received a text message from her last month. She wanted to check with me to see if you were really getting married. She had her wedding coming up and was worried about you trying to steal him from her again. And that's why she contacted me. Are you kidding me? She's sneaking around calling my family behind my back. I heard about everything that you did from her. You're such a lowlife. You tricked them into breaking up, and then you swooped in and started dating him as soon as they broke up. Then you dumped him pretty much straight after. Now that you heard that he's become a doctor, you suddenly want to get back together with him. I can't believe that those two got back together. Now they're getting married as well. I really can't let this happen. Why would they need your permission to get married? Your friend's going to get married, so you should be happy for her. Maybe they're meant to be together, since they decided to get married even after you broke them up once. They still ended up together, despite your sabotage. But this isn't fair to me at all. I wanted to get married to a doctor as well. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Are you not happy enough with what you have already? Julian works a great job at a famous sales company, right? I thought that he was going to become the future CEO or something. Surely he's good enough for a girl like you. You're happy as long as your Instagram looks appealing, right? What are you talking about? Of course I'm not happy with him. 
there are so many things that I want him to fix. Oh, really? Why is that? Stop acting like you don't know. You were the one that was about to marry him. I'm sure you know all his faults as well as I do. What are you talking about? I didn't know that he was sleeping around with other women. I thought that it was just me. On top of that, he has no money in his bank account. Why would I want to get married to someone like that? Wait, he's sleeping around with other women now? Also, did you say he doesn't have any savings? I didn't know about either of that. We're planning to have our wedding this weekend. He told me yesterday that there were some things he needed to confess before he got married. He confessed to me that he currently doesn't have any savings and that he is cheating on me with five other women right now. Whoa, that many? Also, what in the world happened to his savings? I'm so surprised by that. I thought that the only person that he loved was me. I was so shocked when he told me all this yesterday. The women he's sleeping with aren't just one night stands either. He says he sees them all a couple of times a month. Also, he told me he has no intention of ending the relationship that he has with all of them. Can you believe it? We're meant to be getting married in a few days time. The only reason that he decided to marry me was because I was the youngest one of them all. He says that he loves them all and loves me equally, so he can't just choose one person to have a relationship with. That's kind of crazy. He's currently dating six people, including me, and that's why he doesn't have any savings left. He uses up all of his salary that he earns on the dates that he has. I checked the remaining balance in his bank account, and it really did say zero. That's unbelievable. I really didn't think that he was that kind of person. At least when I was dating him, he seemed normal. It's terrible, right? I can't believe he did this to me. I asked him to be faithful to me, but he said that he doesn't really want to change the way he lives for my sake. He told me that I should be happy that he chose me as his wife. That was the end of our conversation. I don't know what to do now. You actually knew all about this, didn't you? Of course not. I wouldn't have gone out with him if I knew about that. I didn't notice him cheating on me, and I didn't know about his savings either. Well, I'm so glad that I didn't end up getting married to him then. I'm so relieved right now. What's wrong with you? I don't want to get married to him either, but I don't have a choice now. You guys haven't gotten married yet, so why don't you just break up with him? I don't think it's too late yet. I told you that I want to break up with him, but I don't have a choice now. After I told him that I wanted to break up with him, he said I'd have to pay the wedding cancellation fees if I wanted to leave him. The wedding is happening pretty soon and we have to pay almost the entire fee of the wedding if we want to cancel it. The bill is almost $40,000. That much? Then he said that if I can't pay the cancellation fees, then I just have to get married to him. He told me not to embarrass him anymore and left. I had no idea he would do something like this. Anyway, that's why I need you to take my place at the wedding and get married to him. Then I wouldn't have to pay any cancellation fees, right? Of course I'm not going to do that, you idiot. Don't get me involved in the mess that you got yourself into. I can't believe you'd even ask me. What? You're just going to abandon me? This is all your fault, you know. You're the one that took him from me in the first place. You said that he didn't deserve to have someone like me by his side. You also said that you were a perfect match for him. You can deal with this yourself, seeing as you were the one that created the mess. Hello, Daniela. Congrats for getting married. My younger sister, Amelia, got married to my ex-fiancé this past weekend as well. I thought that I would just let you know what happened, in case you were curious. Thank you so much for letting me know. So, she actually had her wedding then? I'm a little surprised. Now that she's married and has her own family, I think that I can finally relax. Yeah, I guess you should be fine now. I'm pretty sure that she's way too busy dealing with other matters right now. I don't think that she's going to cause you guys any more trouble. Currently, she is busy running away from her husband and probably has no time to think of you or your husband. Wait, why does she have to run away? Well, the guy that she got married to was actually cheating on her with five other women. He spent all his savings on his girlfriends and doesn't have any money left at all. Their married life is the complete opposite of what she thought it would be like. <gasps> wow, that's so crazy. Wasn't the person that she got married to the person that used to be your fiancé? Was he always that kind of person? I guess so, but I only found out about it recently. I'm actually really glad that she decided to steal him from me. Otherwise, I might have been the one that had to get married to that monster. 
No, <laughs> well, I'm really happy for you. You really dodged a bullet there. I can't imagine how terrible it'd be to get married to a guy like that. I know, right? Anyway, I really think that there is no need for you to worry about her anymore. I'll make sure to contact you if she tries to get up to something. You just got married, so focus on enjoying your new life together with your husband. Yes, I'll do that. Thank you so much for everything. Hey sis, please. I'm begging you to help me out. I'll give him back to you. I really don't want to be with Julian anymore. How many times do I have to tell you this? You made your decision. I don't want anything to do with Julian either. Don't try to return him to me just because you changed your mind. That's not how it works. And what am I supposed to do? Why do I have to go through with this? It's not fair. Why are you asking me? This was the result of your actions. I've also been getting messages from the other woman that he's seeing. They keep threatening me and saying that I shouldn't get ahead of myself just because I was the one that got married to him. I'm scared that they might try to do something to me. He also told me that I'm going to have to pay all the living expenses from now on because he uses up all his salary on the other women. This is not the married life that I signed up for. In fact, it's the complete opposite. Well, your married life sounds so miserable just listening to it. I'm so glad that I'm not the one in your position. I also contacted mom and dad for help, but they didn't help at all. They told me that I should be happy that they even allowed me to get married to him after I stole him from you. They told me to clean up my own mess for a change. Can you believe it? Don't you think that's so mean? They should love and support me. I'm their child after all. No, I think that they dealt with you correctly. Mom and dad are such great people. I have no idea how you managed to grow up like you did. I'm going to cry. Everybody thinks I deserve this. I contacted my friends for help too, but none of them want anything to do with me. Apparently, Danielle has been telling everyone about my marriage and my past. No one wants to talk to me anymore. I even had someone tell me to my face that what I got was coming to me and that she hopes I learned the lesson. I didn't know Daniela was doing that for me. I should send her a message and thank her. We kind of bonded over you stealing the guy we were with. I hope that she continues to share the story of what happened to more people. You're the only person that I have left that I can depend on. Although he doesn't have any savings and he cheats on me, he's actually a pretty good person. I think he's the perfect person for you. Would you please get back together with him? I'm begging you. Why do you think that he's the perfect person for me? I actually think that he's the perfect person for you, especially after finding out what kind of person he really is. Wait, what do you mean by that? You're the kind of person that betrays your friends and family. He is the kind of person that betrays his wife and girlfriends. I think that you guys are a perfect match for each other. That's not true at all. I really do regret what happened and I want to apologize to you about it all. So please, would you help me out so that I can get divorced? No matter how many times I ask him, he won't sign the divorce papers. That must mean that he loves you that much. You said yourself he's a pretty good guy. Maybe he is your perfect match. I'm so jealous that you managed to marry a guy that is never going to let you go. That is so romantic. I'm so glad that you managed to marry such a wonderful person. I know that you don't mean any of what you just said. I'm begging you, please, get back together with him. I really don't know how else to get out of this situation. I promise that I'll never take your boyfriend or fiancé from you ever again. Hey, it's way too late to make a promise like that. Nothing's going to change now. You guys are just like each other, so try to get along as best as you can. Enjoy your new married life together. Wait! Don't just abandon me. You can't leave yet. We haven't solved anything yet. Please! I'm really begging you this time. I'll literally do anything for you. I'm telling you that I'll give him back to you. Please accept my generous offer. I'll go apologize to Daniela about what I did to her and her guy. I'll come to your place and apologize to you directly too. So please help me out. I can't live like this any longer. Please get me out of here right now. Not long after that, I heard the shocking news that Amelia had become pregnant with Julian's child. She had been trying to get divorced from him for a while. But after finding out about the pregnancy, she finally gave up on that idea. They are still living together, but they are not happy at all. They fight all the time and barely talk to each other. Julian doesn't care about Amelia or their unborn child. He still goes out to sleep with the other women that he has relationships with, 
and spends all of his salary on them. He doesn't save any money for their future or buy anything for the baby. He doesn't even go with Amelia to her doctor's appointments or ultrasound scans. It seems like he has no intention to change the way he lives even after their child is born. Meanwhile, Daniela seems to be living a dream married life with her husband, who was a successful doctor. She posts pictures and videos of their happy moments on social media, showing off their beautiful house, their fancy car, their exotic vacations, and their romantic dates. She also shares updates on their pregnancy, as she is expecting a baby around the same time as Amelia. Every time Amelia sees posts about Daniela on social media, she becomes hysterical, realizing the kind of life that she missed out on. She regrets choosing Julian over Daniela's husband, who was her ex-boyfriend. I hope that Daniela continues to post more of her happy life on social media. I love seeing Amelia suffer and cry over her own mistakes. She deserves it for what she did to me.